it sounds to me like Eric Nelson is either laying the groundwork for Derek Chauvin to testify, or at the very least, testing the waters. Our Brian Buckmeyer outside the courthouse to bring us up to date on what happened there. And Brian, I noticed how Eric Nelson cross-examined these two police witnesses. Uh, what do you think he's up to? Yeah, so specifically, I'm focusing on Lieutenant Zimmerman's cross-examination. You may have noticed that Eric Nelson was asking broad questions as to use of force policy, like he brought up the example of the need to improvise and brought up that there's a paint, if there's a paint can situation, that you might need to use even a paint can to defend yourself. He also harped on the fact that Lieutenant Zimmerman has not been on the streets since, I think, 1993, even though he's got that wide experience and he's actually more senior than Derek Chauvin. This is why I think he did it. It's a technique that a lot of defense attorneys use where you co-op the prosecution's witness. You outline broad uses of force or different categories or situations where you can use force. And then when your client testifies, Derek Chauvin gets to say, I respect Lieutenant Zimmerman, but he's not on the streets. He hasn't been on the streets for the 19 years like I have been on. He doesn't understand the environment. It's one thing to see it in a camera. It's another thing to be there. And I use the factors of improvisation, using the prompt position, everything that Lieutenant Zimmerman spoke about, but then I use my real world life situations from my 19 years experience and the fact that I was there to use that force. It sounds to me like Eric Nelson is either laying the groundwork for Derek Chauvin to testify or at the very least, testing the waters. I don't know if he's gonna testify, but that's what it looked like. It sure seems that way. The, uh, is the paint can supposed to be uh, the metaphor for the knee, you think, Brian? I think it's, it's, I think what he's doing is he's using an absurd uh, analogy, something the prosecution's not gonna jump on. The prosecution, I think like most of us, are gonna hear paint can and be like, he's just talking nonsense. But when it comes in, when the, when the defendant testifies and says, yeah, the paint can might be a ridiculous situation, but here is my knee and I had to improvise. Yeah, I'm not supposed to put my knee there, but I had to improvise in order to make sure that I was safe along with my uh, colleagues and everyone around me. So I think that's why that paint can popped up. Brian, in your own practice, you hardly ever want to put your clients on the stand to testify, but here we have a police officer who's been trained to testify. So what's the equation you think for Eric Nelson here on that big decision? Yeah, that's a big difference between my client uh, as representing indigent people and Derek Chauvin. It's not really a matter of guilt or innocence. He's trained to testify. So in that sense, I think there's a greater chance that he will testify. But there are a few questions that I think will be really difficult. Why did you leave your knee on his neck after he passed out? Right? That's going to be really hard for him to explain. Uh, and if he has a great explanation, then sure, go and testify. The other one being, well, what police procedures were you following? There's going to be a lot of difficult questions, but he's trained to testify. I think that opens the door a little bit more for him to testify than for that of a client of mine. So it's a possibility.